Hello guys, I might, might make it two takes for today just because I've made my dinner and um, I'm about to eat it. So, this is the vlog for the 23rd of August. I can't believe the year's going by so quickly, it's actually ridiculous. Um, but I'll tell you more about my day in the second clip. I'm going to eat some tasty food, talk to Emily on the phone because I haven't seen her in a couple nights. And yeah, I'm going back to her house tomorrow which is going to be awesome because it means I get to get away from this place. Um, funny development. I've decided I'm standing my ground and staying. This is my house too. Not backing down for anyone else. Um, I'm just going to ignore them both. You just do me. Fuck them. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'll vlog more soon. Excuse my hair. I just took it out. I've had it in a bun all day for work, so it's ridiculous right now. Um, so I spoke to Emily on the phone to have my dinner. That was really good. Um, I miss her so much. She's the greatest human being in the world. Um, something pretty big happened today as well. Uh, and I'm not going to go into detail on the vlog. But needless to say, it's something I've been waiting for for years. And I got it today. It's a big thing for me personally. Um, a lot of healing is going to happen because of it. So I'm pretty happy with that. But I'll leave it at that. Anyway, my ankle's gotten a lot better. I was on my feet a lot for work today. Speaking of which, I should charge my watch. Um, I, d oh, I can't even check how many steps I've got because it's now past 12 o'clock. I... Sorry, taking my watch off. I walked at least 16,000 steps or something like that today. So if my ankle was really that bad, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And there was pretty much zero pain. Maybe a slight bit of pain at one point so I was technically gonna try to run tomorrow but I'm not because then I realized I gotta um, drive to Emily's house before I catch a train tomorrow and then Friday I start work at 7 a.m. and then we have Emily's cousin's birthday dinner so I think I'll leave it till Saturday to run again it's probably a good thing to have five days off when I sprain my ankle I, I actually might show it to you if I can why not I should take it out of its brace anyway while I sleep, got a compression bandage on it. So it's gonna have lines all over it from that, but as you can see, a bit bruised up. But, swelling's gone. So that's bruises. There's a bruise down the bottom there. But yeah, the swelling's gone, pretty much. Doesn't hurt. It's a bit, it's the tiniest bit tender. So hopefully if I don't run tomorrow and Friday, it'll be healed. I'm going to feel an obligation to try to catch up. I did 54 kilometers last week. I'm definitely not going to get that just running on Saturday and Sunday. And there's no telling whether or not it's going to be fine. But if it is fine, I might try to get at least 25 Ks in. So I might go on a 10 K run the first day just to test it out. And then a 15 K run on Sunday. And then if, if, if it's fine, I'll sit here. I want to be conservative just in case I injure myself, but I don't think I am going to injure myself. So if those two runs go good and I don't feel any pain, I'll probably try to get another 50k plus week next week. I'm just so addicted to running, especially the long runs. When I get into the routine, I wasn't liking it for a little while. I don't know how to explain it. I think I was pushing myself too hard on the majority of my runs. And now I've allowed myself to relax on them again and not run so hard. And I actually just get to relax and listen to my podcast. It's made a huge difference in making me enjoy them a lot more. But yeah, sorry, I'm trying to put my sock back on. I don't want to get cold in the middle of the night. All right, I might <laughs> leave it till I'm finished filming. No, nah, I'm going to multitask. It's almost on. But yeah, I'm just going to relax before bed now. Cannot wait to get out of this house and go to Emily's house tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. I've had a great day. Despite all the shit going on here, like I said, that moment that happened for me, that thing that I got that I've been waiting for for a long time, just never thought it would happen and I'm very glad that it has, so I couldn't be happier. Life's good. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.